Hello everyone, my name's Rachel and I'm here from Happy Silver People. And I have to start with an apology. I haven't posted a video for quite some time and that's been because I've been starting to try and write a book uh, called Happy Silver People, which captures some of the ideas around ways to make our lives a little healthier, happier and easier as we, as we grow older. So one of the ideas uh, I've been focusing on recently is thinking about ways that the more mundane items in our home can bring a smile and uh, give us a bit of joy, although they're not the most exciting of things. And, and I started getting into this because I was thinking about tea towels. Um, so as I said, not, not the most exciting thing, but um, my tea towels definitely needed replacement. So uh, I started looking at some, some really nice alternatives that I thought might cheer me up a bit when I'm having to do the washing up. And uh, three of the ones I ordered were um, this lovely, lovely linen one. So just a plain color, but a really lovely shade of purple. I think this one was called Orchid Purple. And when it came, it's from um, a supplier in Latvia. Uh, it came in this, with this nice little envelope. Um, and a nice little label on it um, and it swatches all the different colours that they do so lots and lots of glorious different um, colours you can get your tea towels in if you just want plain colour so um, I love those uh, I think I might be buying some more um, I also ordered uh, this one so this is made by Rachel Wong it's a, a British um, uh, producer and I just love this design. Uh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous um, tea towel. I'm almost afraid to use it, uh, but super beautiful. And that will certainly bring a smile to my face when I'm doing the washing up. Uh, and that also came with a, a really nice little message uh, saying thanks so much for your order. And also telling me that uh, because I was supporting an independent business, um, that makes me a wonderful human being. So who doesn't want to be told that when their new tea towel arrives? Um, Thank you, Rachel Wong. Uh, that was really nice. Um, and the third one I ordered was uh, Yorkshire Paint Chart uh, Tea Towel. It's got some um, lovely, <laughs> lovely names for these shades of different colours. Like, and I don't know whether you know um, some of these Yorkshire words, but like Nesh, uh, Flat Cap, Cobbled Street, uh, Sweating Buckets, uh, that one there. And uh, we've also got Egg Sani, uh, is that one? Um, tea Cake over here. Chuddy, which apparently is chewing gum. Uh, so I'm guessing this is some kind of mint flavored chewing gum. Um, that is quite a nice color actually, kind of teal color. Um, and Colol down here on the end. So uh, yeah, I really like that one. That's, that's um, definitely one one to make you smile while you're doing your washing up. So that's uh, Yorkshire paint chart tea towel. So that's, uh, that's uh, some ideas to get you started. Um, and then, I mean, I've got some other things in around my kitchen that, um, that make me smile for different reasons too. So for example, this uh, lethal looking <laughs> item is actually for pickled onions. Um, at, at, normally at Christmas time, but I think I'm going to have to use it more often because it's a, a great little little item. It works really well, and it belonged to my mother-in-law, so it's a nice way to to remember her a little bit more often when you're just doing an ordinary daily task. So I think we can use that for spearing uh, little tomatoes or something. I'm definitely going to get that at the drawer a little bit more often. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but some kind of pronged. Um, spearing implement. Uh, then there's this teeny, teeny little spoon. I mean, this is so, so tiny. Uh, and again, I normally only bring it out at Christmas for mustard or something like that, but I think I'm gonna have to try and find an excuse to use it more often. I just love it because it is so, just so little. Um, and, and yeah, just almost like a little doll spoon. And I also found these, which I don't use very often at all, but I think I'm gonna to have to use more often, which are cheese implements, uh, knife, fork. Again, I could use them for other things as well, but really nice design, lovely and smooth and nice and cool. 
uh, so they feel great too. So um, yeah, looking for extra ways I can use these because these just feel nice. I love the design. You can tell I like shiny things. Obviously I uh, was a magpie in a former life. So uh, yeah, some great things I found in my, in my kitchen drawers. And when I'm replacing some of the other things, I may be trying to use something that isn't just functional, but has a nice color, design, shape, uh, or, or find something that has special memories that, uh, that, I, want to, that I want to keep. Uh, so over on our Facebook page, Happy Silver People, I just did a competition actually um, to win some of these nice tea towels. Um, people were sharing some of the stories of the things they had in their kitchen drawers. So we had people with a lovely, um, someone had a lovely colorful teapot. Um, someone had bread tins that reminded them of their mother baking bread. We had someone with a cafetiere that they love so much. Their husband actually uh, painted a picture of it. So she has it on the wall as well as on the table. Uh, a knife sharpener that someone's father had used again um, and it was really really old but still going strong still doing a great job so functional but also had lots of lovely memories with it too and some with an apron they kept that their mother had used as well uh, corkscrew great functional item but it was really nicely designed cook pots and steamers and food tongs um, and a, a, a lovely looking uh, egg cup as well, which brought somebody back some lovely memories. So there are lots and lots of different things that you might have in your house, uh, in your kitchen. Um, a, I don't know, a cheese grater, a tea strainer, whatever it might be. Have a look um, and just try and find those little things that you can maybe use a little bit more often that will bring a smile to your face because of the way they look or feel all those memories that they bring back. So I hope you can find a little happiness uh, in your life tomorrow as you're going about your daily business, um, making a sandwich, cooking a meal, uh, or, or doing some other chore around the kitchen. So see you again soon. Uh, take care in the meantime and um, have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Bye.